and what women men, women like verbal pornography. Well, they, that's <laughs> their. It's true. It's what, true. Meaning, they so dirty there's, talk. There's, there's a typical no no pornographic stories, but not visual. Like men are pornographic visually, women are pornographic semantically. There, there's like a big in, literature on this. Like, well, but what is it? I can't. I can't. Well, there's well, like, a classic story. It's the story of every Harlequin romance, and there are oh, there, I see. there are pornographic Harlequin romances. And you're saved and by a it's, handsome. It, yeah, well, that's that's <laughs> part of it. It's it's uh, Fifty Shades Brain. of Grey. Right, which oh, is the yeah. biggest selling novel ever, ever. Ever. Right. Okay. So And I believe directed by a woman, uh, written by a woman, yeah. and certainly enjoyed by women. Yes. Right at the height of Me Too, by the way. Yes. Well, you may, um, the first one may... Uh, oh, Me Too. The yes. Book, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that was very yes. interesting. Okay. So here's the plot. It's Beauty and the Beast. So the, the Google engineers figured this out because they looked at, integra they looked at in billions of internet searches for pornographic material from women, and they analyzed the narrative. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's so How do cool. you know that? There's a book called A Billion Wicked Thoughts that the Google engineers wrote. Oh. Yeah, and Google engineers make great psychologists because they're stu too, too stupid to be politically correct. So they just tell you what's actually true, and they don't even know that there's something wrong with it. It's like, this is just what happened, because they're engineers. <laughs> right. You know? They're so, nerds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they just think, oh, this is this is what the data shows. You've got a problem with that? Like, how would anyone have a problem with that? Because they're engineers, that. right? So that. Okay, so there's five male categories that are hyper-attractive on the pornographic front to women. Vampires, werewolves, pirates, <laughs> surgeons, and billionaires. <laughs> well, hey, that's right. That's right, man. So, you know, I can't help this. This is this is just how it is. And so So if you were a billionaire pirate with a medical degree, you could fucking kill you, it you, out you, there. You'd, huh? you'd be you'd be like you yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you'd be slaying it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now the, the next part of it is a lot of the build up is foreplay. So what happens is that the billionaire pirate werewolf vampire right. <laughs> finds this girl who has kind of a secret beauty, right? And they have a very fractious... <laughs> <laughs> a secret beauty, yes. Yeah, well, okay. you know, it's like a Hollywood librarian. Well, I mean, that the, she's, I she's love not that. beautiful with her right, glasses. Right, because on. that covers anybody who's reading it to thinking who's not very attractive. Yep, they can yep, think, oh, yep. well, I have a secret beauty. Exactly, exactly. It exactly. weighs a ton, but it's secret. Okay, now they have a <laughs> fractious relationship, right? Because he's attractive to all sorts of other women, and there's quite a bit of tension and fighting, mm. but eventually. She tames him with her right. secret beauty, and, well, her, and then the, that's when the that's when the wild sex starts. Not just her secret beauty, but her awesome personality. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. well, so that's the female pornographic pattern, by the way. Yeah, yes. and it's it's verbal. But I come on, not as many women read Harlequin romances as men view pornography. All men look at pornography. I don't think all women do that. I think. Women are a little more. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't know how to quantify the comparison exactly. But believe me, there's there's well, Fifty Shades of Grey is a great example. Yes, you know, like very, plenty. Oh of no, people. no, no, no. Women. I mean, look, women are in a bind now because like the the politics tells them to say one thing, especially about sex. We're and definitely going to get in trouble here, you know. I don't care. There's trouble's and coming, we, if, for sure. If either one of us cared, would we be this far along? All you got to do, what you have to do is lean in. I mean, that's what we both do. It's like, no, I'm going to trust that there are this certain percentage, hopefully more than the 3% psychos. Yeah, hopefully. Who are sane people who are... Hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.